Michael Massa There are many cultural practices that connect ancient Egyptians to the Yorubas and the new interpretation of the Odujua legend suggests that the Yorubas have originated or are influenced mainly by the Egyptians. The attestation of Egypt as the main influencer of the Yoruba culture made Egypt significant in the study of the history of the Yoruba people. Some writers are beginning to think that the ancient Egyptians were responsible for introducing and spreading many cultures amongst the Yorubas. As more Yorubas are tracing their origins and the origins of their culture to ancient Egypt, this research investigates whether the Egyptians were the originators and the main spreaders of the afterlife culture in Yoruba land. Another prominent writer of West African history, who linked the Egyptians to the Yorubas, is the Venerable Archdeacon J. Alyamide Lucas. He was a former pastor of St. Paul's Church, Breadfruit in Lagos, Nigeria. Lucas discusses the various forms of spirits, gods and ancestors worshipped by the Yorubas. He argues that these same deities were worshipped in ancient Egypt. Point three. Furthermore, Lucas believes that ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, emblems, symbols and formulae have survived in West Africa. He claims that some of the survivals are traced back to different periods of ancient Egyptian history, firstly the pre-dynastic period, secondly, the dynastic period as well as the Greek and Roman times. Lucas notes that the survivals are still in use especially in the form of a metaphysical outlook on life, notably amongst the Ashanti, in Togoland, Yorubaland and Ikoiland. When I saw the image above, and the identical nature of the two deities, the child of Obatala of the Yorubas, and the Egyptian god Bes, I thought, so the child of Obatala's name is, Bes, in ancient Egyptian. I then said to myself, I wonder what the child of Obatala's name is in Yorubaland. I bet it has the word Bes or similar in it. According to Wiki, Bess may have been a Middle Kingdom import from Nubia or Somalia, and his cult did not become widespread until the beginning of the New Kingdom. Worship of Bess spread as far north as the area of Syria and as far west as the Balearic Islands, Ibiza, in Spain, and later into the Roman and Achaemenid empires. Bess was a household protector, becoming responsible, throughout ancient Egyptian history, for such varied tasks as killing snakes, fighting off evil spirits, watching after children, and aiding women in labor by fighting off evil spirits, and thus present with Taurid at births. Like many Egyptian gods, the worship of Bess or Beset was exported overseas. While the female variant had been more popular in Minoan Crete, the male version would prove popular with the Phoenicians and the ancient Cypriots. The Balearic island of Ibiza derives its name from the god's name, brought along with the first Phoenician settlers in 654 BC. These settlers, amazed at the lack of any sort of venomous creatures on the island, thought it to be the island of Bess. The Arab invasion of North Africa from 638 AD to 642 AD had a significant effect in displacing the aborigines of Hamitic race from that part of the continent. However, the displacement led to the migration to the central, western and southern parts of Africa. This is the very reason why most ethnic nationalities in Africa trace their roots back to the ancient Egypt or North Africa. In the Bible the land of Ham, Egypt, is the father of black Africa from which came the Nubians, Sudan, and Ethiopians. The Chinese and Greeks are also believed to be descendants of Ham. Yes except Ebos. Wrong. The religious pantheon of the Ebos and the ancient Egyptians share many similar ancestors, many of them bearing identical names. They shared the sun god worship of Are, Chukwu Are, Egyptians were similarly fetishitic about circumcision, and menstrual periods like the Ebos. Similar hairstyles, similar martial arts and self-defense schools, similar social structures. But for now, we will focus on some observed linguistic similarities that exist between ancient Egyptian language and present-day Igbo language, for many Egyptian words yet survive in the Igbo language today. This is a current topical area of research in linguistics and history. A small list of ancient Egyptian words which survive in the Igbo language are as follows. Egyptian IGBO, Onitsha and Uburu dialects used, Kaka, God, Ka, greater, 
superior. Ku, to kill, death, no slash bu, die slash to kill. M, smell, I am I slash emi, nose, associated with smell. Bai, to become, bu, to become. Un, living being, ndu, life. Fei, to go away, fei, to fly away. Budo, dwelling place, abodo slash yubudo, country, dwelling place. Dudu, black image of Osiris, person. Un, living person, yulo slash uno, living area, house. Bika, pray slash confess, biko slash beko, to plead, please. Body, mouth, onu, mouth, and ku slash qui, to speak. Door, settlement, dornor, sit down, settle. Arit, shu, light after darkness, la, shu, sleep. Aru, rise, anu slash kuli, up, rise. Wu, rise, kewu and i slash kuni, rise. In, n, negation, nhn, negation. Ma, to know, ma, mali, to know. Say, to create, ku, to create, and say, to draw. Hu, rejoice, gu, tagu, dance, rejoice. Omagener, deep water, I am imi, deep inside. Nen, the primeval water mother, nem, mother. Ro, talk, quo, to talk. Penka, divide, stump, break it. Allah, Land of, Allah, land of, ground, boundary. AMU, children, children. Ani, ground land below, Ani, ground land below. Ka, higher, Ka, greater, higher, stronger, above. Pa, open, open. ISI, leader, ISI, leader, head, body part, female name as in Ibo, Isioma.